Parvati was dejected after her failure in winning the hand of Lord Shiva. Sage Narada visited her to cheer her up. Your motive to win to worship Lord Shiva was pure and your action were noble, he said. Your failure was because there was no such penance on your part to seek your goal. Even the greatest of devotees perform their greatest penance when they seek something from Lord Shiva. What you seek is the most difficult as you seek the Lord Himself. Hence, your penance has to be the most severe. Narada instructed Parvati how to worship Lord Shiva by teaching her the Panchashakti mantra. Only the constant prayer and meditation can win over Lord Shiva, he explained. Parvati was very hurt by Lord Shiva's behavior. My beauty has failed to win the Lord, she thought, but I shall win over him with my penance and devotion. Parvati informed her mother, Menika, about her decision to do severe penance to win over Lord Shiva. Menika tried to convince her daughter to give up the no notion of choosing Lord Shiva as her husband. Choose any other Deva. I have made up my mind, Mother, Parvati replied. Please bless me. With a very heavy heart, Menika blessed her. Parvati now approached Himavat to bless her with her quest. Himavat agreed and gifted Parvati a grove to meditate. Casting off royal clothes, Parvati adorned the adore of aesthetic and entered the grove. As Parvati meditated on Lord Shiva, she barely ate anything and slept on the cold, damp earth. The sage often came to watch and marvel at the great devotion. When Lord Shiva was not appeased, Parvati gave up eating altogether as she meditated. The sage named her Arpana or the Lady of the Unbroken Fast. Parvati submerged herself on an icy cold water body chanting Lord Shiva's name. She is truly the aesthetic of the aesthetics. The sages complimented her. Years passed by but Parvati did not lose hope. One day, a young hermit met her. Parvati bowed before him. Why are you performing such a severe appearance and leading an aesthetic life? He asked. You are blessed with beauty and wealth. Could your penance to be a clean and loved one? The hermit asked, Who would you refuse? Who would refuse? Who would refuse someone like you? I shall grant you half the merits that I have earned if you stop your penance and return home. But please tell me the reasons for your penance. Parvati was silent when the hermit asked the reason for her penance and gestured to her friend to provide the answer. Parvati is worshipping Lord Shiva to win his love. Parvati's friend replied, Is that your friend saying true? The hermit asked in surprise. Yes, it's true. Parvati finally spoke. I am sure 
that I shall win over Lord Shiva with my worship. But Lord Shiva is poor and uncouth with ash smeared all over his body. Snakes crown over him and he is decked in foul smelling animal hide. Even his ancestry is unknown. He is not fit for a princess like you. Choose someone who is more worthy for you. Parvati angrily asked the hermit to stop. No creatures can never understand the greatness of the Lord. Your speech showed how wicked your mind is. Neither Lord Shiva nor his true devotee impressed by the external appearance. She thundered. That's all for today friends. We will meet the very next day for the next part of the story. Har Har Mahadev.